Now to the latest on the grand jury investigation into former President Donald Trump. And Eyewitness News has learned there will be no action on the case until sometime next week. Meanwhile, Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg is pushing back against a Republican-led congressional request he testify about the case. Even though no decision has been made, House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jim Jordan calls Bragg's actions politically motivated. Bragg responded by calling the request an unprecedented inquiry into a pending local prosecution. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett live in Lower Manhattan with the very latest. N.J. Yeah, that's right, Dave. Alvin Bragg is pushing back hard in a five-page letter to those Republicans telling them essentially to butt out. And no, the grand jury will not sit today. They will not deliberate. They will not vote on this case today. The reasons are known only to Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg and his team of prosecutors. But the grand jury hearing evidence against Donald Trump was placed on hold for a third straight day. They will not reconvene for this case until next week. The last witness to testify was Robert Costello, a Trump associate who sought to discredit the prosecution's star witness, former Trump fixer Michael Cullen. That was on Monday. Since then, the former president has remained in his Palm Beach estate, speculating on when or if he will be arrested and accusing Bragg of waging a politically motivated investigation. One former insider says the most likely scenario is that prosecutors are coordinating with Donald Trump's legal team on a potential surrender date before asking the grand jury to vote. They don't want a lot of daylight between uh, a potential indictment and a surrender date. Coordinate with law enforcement how they can keep him safe, and then I would wait till the very last possible minute to seek an indictment before that date. I think is unlikely, but it's a possibility is that they're trying to decide whether to still actually bring the case. Meanwhile, Republican congressional leaders sent a letter to the DA demanding that Bragg brief them on the investigation. Legal counsel to the DA has responded, calling it, quote, an unprecedented inquiry into a pending local prosecution. The letter only came after Donald Trump created a false expectation that he would be arrested the next day, and his lawyers reportedly urged you to intervene. Neither fact is a legitimate basis for congressional inquiry, end quote. And again, to recap, no grand jury action on the Trump case is expected today. The reason for the delay, as I said a moment ago, is still not clear. Delays, however, are not uncommon in grand jury presentations. An indictment, however, would not be expected until sometime next week.